Howdy, everybody. Teresa here and Bradley. Bradley. I got some love mail in today, so I thought I would share it. This is from my sister and best friend, Linda, crazy for yarn. And she sent this for my birthday, but she sent it early, obviously. It says my birthday is not until July 4th. But she said, and Brad heard it, that I could open it up early. Doing your thing. <laughs> oh, I can tell there's all kinds of goodies in here. Charlie's a sniffing away, too. Let's see, I gotta read the note. She's gonna make me cry. I feel the same way, Linda. Feel the same way. And I'm keeping this. So let's see. One thing I knew, because I really liked these when she was making them. And she said, the thing she was giving them to me, she makes these flipper socks. Oh, cool. Aren't they cute? And this is, yarn is Red Heart Mexicali. And she makes these. And aren't they nice? They are really nice. I'm going to be wearing these. These are going to be nice and comfy and they're soft. Thank you so much. I love these. These are so cute. Let's see. What else? I don't know, guys. There's all kinds of stuff in there. If I am smiling, look at this yarn. Wow. Look at the pretty colors on that yarn, honey. Oh, very cool. Wow. And it's soft. And it's a bulky, I would say it's probably a bulky number six. Probably about. I thought so too. It is neat. That is some neat yarn. And Charlie's got his head, let me show you. <clears throat> you see, he's got his head resting on the box right there. That's a pretty good angle, actually. Let's see if we can get that. Just say like that. There we go. There. So, and she's, this is some of the lion's brand, I can tell. And this is a real pretty blues, and it goes into a darker blue, almost into a purple. I'll be using this. This is some heavy rug yarn, but I use this on my hats as well, and on the brims and stuff. And the more that you do this, the softer it becomes. So if anybody's ever wondering... This rug yarn does become softer the more you manhandle it. So you sit here some night, maybe your hand really hurt. You need, you know, instead of using an excise ball, you sit here and manhandle your yarn. This some nice red. That'll come in handy. And some more scrap yarn. Like I said, all of this comes in. Oh, look at how pretty that eyelash is. This is some of that eyelash. I'm not showing Brad. He don't care. There's some eyelash pastels. Oh, all kinds of cute. These can be used on the brims. Outer brims. Especially the baby hats. Look at that one. That's a cute one. There we go. I've never seen all those kind of eyelash yarn. Look at that. Isn't that cute? This is pinks going into purples. There's some more of that one that I saw right there. Same, these two are the same. Oh, this is pretty. This is real pretty for this. This matches this. So I talked to her earlier. She said she made some yarn cakes. I'll make sure see what they look like. Here's some nice blue. All this can be made. Oh, what is this? What is this, Linda? What is this? Really? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at this, honey. Oh, that is. Wow. I'm impressed. How pretty is this, Charlie? Do you like it? Do you like it? Oh, wow. 
Linda. Thank you. Hello, turd bird. The other day she knew I'm saying I don't like to do Afghans, but I, I would love an Afghan. She made me this. Thank you so much. I love this. This is so pretty. You can't go wrong with all the colors either. Thank you. This is going on my bed. This is very nice. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. Yeah, I can see the work she did on that. Isn't that pretty? Uh, thank you so much. I absolutely love it. I haven't had anybody make me an afghan since probably I was a baby and my great-grandmother made me one. Seriously. And then do you see the, scall the nice scalloped edges she did? Isn't that pretty? Thank you. I love this. Especially because she made it. That is so pretty. Thank you so much. And then, this is one of those 5D, 5D diamond paintings, I think it's called. I don't want to rip it open. There you go. How can you be so quiet? Why? Just, just being good. Oh, well, you can speak. It's taking a lot of effort to be good, but I'm being good. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh, that's pretty. That's purple. How pretty is that? Let me show you guys. Look at that. There you guys go. Isn't that pretty? So you do the butterfly part with these little. You do the butterfly part. Oh, okay. Here with all of these different. And it comes with this tray. And this is the tool that you use. Um, Very cool. And then it comes with. I'm going to figure out how to open it. I remember my grandmother had trouble seeing stuff up close when I was a kid, you know, and, and they'd ask you to read something, and I thought, oh, that'll never happen to me. The dog's really messing with my camera with her tail, honey. Oh, is she? Get yeah, down could you? Time. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, she, her tail is, is honey. You get over there or something. No, take her out. Oh, okay. But anyway. Honey. I just hold this here till he gets her out because her tail is whacking my thing all over. Ouchies. Holy crap, off of this. There we go. I think. Okay, as soon as she moves, that camera is going to go. Oh! Right Damn it. Okay, so the beads come in a real nice long strip. Beads, they're sequin, sequins, like this. They come in a real nice long strip like this. And I have a little craft divider I bought a couple weeks ago over there at Dollar Tree. It would be perfect for these. I'm excited to sit and do this. Does it come with instructions, Linda? We have to watch somebody do these. I'm sure it does. I 
I'm just very, I'm just kind of confused on um, how you do the glue thing, Linda. How you do the glue thing in this, this, and do the tool thing. I'm going to watch somebody do it, and if not, I'll, I'll call her. I'm excited to do it, and then I'm going to Mod Podge it, and then I'm going to frame it, and then I'm going to hang it back by my bed, because her know that my favorite color is purple. And then I'm going to have that, and I'm going to have my com my afghan that she made me. And then I have the pillowcases she made me that, that I sleep on. So, gee whiz, you're such a wonderful, she is, I cannot tell you how much that Linda means to me. And it's not just because of, of, of that she sends me, you know, yarn and stuff. It's just, she's there for me. You know, like the other night when I found out my neighbor and friend had passed away. I tried to act like everything was okay for an hour and I was home alone. And, you know, and then I called her and she, you know, she made sure she stayed on the phone with me until she knew Brad was getting off work. She's just always there. She's always got a positive attitude, even on the days when she's in pain herself. She just, I have never had such a, a, a best friend like her. I've had some best friends, but she probably, you know how you have maybe that one best friend in your whole life who is like, you know, you know, you're like soul sisters and you know, and I mean, I have some really great friends, but her and Angie, Angie Lucas, like, are my two best friends, um, and they're both very different from each other, but they both complement each other, and, you know, neither one is jealous of the other one, and I can see all three of us hanging out, having a great time, you know, and I just, those two ladies mean the world to me. You know, and um, if you're watching this, Angie, the cord for the camcorder just came in. It's the right cord. Brad's got it charging right now, so we'll be getting that going. I'm so excited about that. I got to learn to look in this camera, not here, because I'm used to looking there, but I need to look in the camera. But thank you again, Linda, for the yarn. Thank you for the 5D painting thing I'm going to be doing. Thank you so much for this beautiful afghan. I just love it. Yeah, I like things that are weighty too because that feels comforting to me. So I'm so excited. Thank you. And my socks and stuff. Thank you so much, Linda. It really means a lot to me. And oh, I'll just hold this for a minute because you know we're just going. See, you guys are going all whack a doodle. You guys didn't even know it. Because this is what is going on. There's the mama. Hi, mama. There's Nixie. And look what they did. Look what we came home to. They found, got in the garbage, and got eggshells. Oh, I don't have the rest of the groceries. I'll put them in the salad dressings and stuff. I'll, I'll go over that in a minute. But yeah. See, and this is what Nixie does when she's waiting for her dad. And then there's Angel. Hi, Angel. Hey, my kitty, kitty, kitty. How's my girl? Oh, that baby. Okay, I'm going to get off here and talk into my regular video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi. You guys, thank you again, Linda. Happy birthday early to me. You guys want to know? I'll be 53. Yep. And no, I don't have any makeup on. This is just from being out in the sun. So, anyway, I'll talk to you guys here in a little bit. Love you guys. Bye.